Here it says, when the warriors, the gang of Muhammad, they get killed in the war of Yamama, and this war, by the way, if Muhammad lose, Islam is demolished. Almost actually, almost he lost. This is why a, ma you know, a major casualty of Muhammad friends were slaughtered. So when the major of, of the campaign of Muhammad were slaughtered in this war, and they suffer a heavy casualty, as you see, in the day of the Battle of Yamama, he said, I am afraid that there will be more casualty among the Quran, those who recite Quran or no Quran, in other battlefield, whereby a large part of the Quran may be lost. And here you ask yourself, is the Quran preserved by Allah or by the act of the believers? So, as you see, it was an act of the Muslims. So how the Muslims even they claim that Allah is the one preserve the Quran? I mean, even what they even what they in their book saying it was the act of the Muslims, and not only that. Omar, Abu Bakr said, Abu Bakr, this is the Caliphate. He said to Omar, "How can I do something which Allah Apostle has not done?" If you watch their video about preservation of the Quran, you will see that the Prophet was preserving the Quran. But as you see, this is a proof that Muhammad never preserved any Quran because he is saying, why I want to do something Muhammad himself did not do. He is the prophet. And this is after Muhammad's death. Why I want to do that? Do you see it? Why we should collect the Quran if the prophet of Islam, the child molester himself, he never did. So what we find out that first, it's not Allah preserving the Quran and the Quran never preserved as we show you tons of reference. You know, the Quran says that inna alayna jam'uhu wa Quranahu. It is on us to collect and to recite. And this is actually alone proof that Muhammad is a fraud because he gave a false prophecy that the one who will collect the Quran is Allah. Chapter 57, verse number 15. But in every single video Muslim they make, they say the Caliphate, he is the one who collected. But this is against the Quran. The Quran say clearly that the one who collect or should collect the Quran is Allah.